Hi, I'm Catherine from Honey Bee Beautiful. You probably recognize my face already, but these are my beekeeping friends. So I want to introduce you today and show you inside the hive. How exciting. So, introduce yourself, Andrew. Hello there. Yeah, I'm Andrew. Oh, you have guessed that one already. <laughs> yeah, I'm the general dog's body of Keth and Isla Avery beekeepers. But he, he keeps lots of bees, so he's I more do. knowledgeable than us. So we'll <laughs> I try to be. We'll, we'll help each other anyway. I'll stay one step ahead. And, um, Obviously, we respect the seniority in the group. I'll take you <laughs> over to <laughs> to our third member here. And I'm Eric. <laughs> and who are you? <laughs> I'm the eldest of the group. And how, how long Eldest have you been keeping bees for, Eric? Uh, 25 years. Wow, you've got to respect that, haven't you? <laughs> so between us, we muddle through and look after these bees. And you've seen before this wonderful apiary here. I'll just give you a 360. It's a Woodland Trust-owned site. And as you can see, there's loads and loads of forage for the bees. It's awesome. And today, what's the temperature today? 20 degrees like something like that Look, and you'll see the sun up there wow it's just awesome so a perfect day to really have a deep thorough good through going over the hives so that's what we want to do today is show you live for the very first time inside a hive so take it away Andrew <laughs> and hopefully I can hardly see anything because it's so bright oh, but um, hopefully okay. we, you'll see what we're doing but apologies if you can't this is live right this is live Go for it, Andrew. Excuse the errors along the way. So I'll okay, just point so this at the are, direct. Here we have a colony. There she is. Colony calf. Down there. Down there. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Filmmaker. Um, and uh, we've been looking at the outside. Actually, this one calf is not the most busy. So it might be a little bit dull. But we'll see. We'll see. Look at the po There's pollen going, going in. in. So that's always a good sign because if pollen's going in. That's food yeah. for the babies the larvae it's mm -hmm. the protein so but they're not particularly busy so anyway we'll see yep. so we'll have a look so the so first thing we, we need to do what we do with bees is just just to let them know we're here and to give them a try and calm them down a little bit we'll give them a, a little bit of smoke underneath that's on the assumption we've got a mesh floor underneath that always helps give them a little while just to um, recognize that we're here they think that's a forest fire so they think oh i better go and get some food and stay out of the way. So, uh, put in the lid. What do we see inside? So, in here, you've heard me say about this before. This is the fondant that we give them over winter to make sure they don't starve. Um, L lots of notes. That's our new notebook for the season. So, it reminds us what's going on in a hive each time we come. So, if there's swarm preparations, if we've seen the queen or what's going on. So we'll probably take this off now, Andrew. We will take this off now. now I think there's, they've got enough there's plenty of food outside. Although it's interesting, outside. isn't it? They're still in there eating yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, must be it's readily available, isn't it? So, so it's easy. For it. yeah. yeah, easy food. They w they are quite lazy, like us. They will tend to go for what's closer. It's a little peek inside here. And exciting times. Let's get this crambled off and see what's going on. The essential hive tool that you always lose. I always lose my hive tool. They never put it down, they say, don't they? Okay. Give it a little clean off so we know what we're, what we're dealing with, basically. So they build up a lot of comb, don't they, to fill spaces in the hive? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So one of the jobs we do each time is just to clean things up. Always keep any, any bits of carving up wood. That's more to help us than to help them, to be honest. So, the bits around the outside this is the propolis, which they get from the tree buds that sticks the small spaces together, sterilizes the hive, and obviously, we use it as well. It's an awesome antiseptic and anti inflammatory. It closes off all the gaps as well for them. You know, it does, it sticks everything together. Any wind coming in, any you know, little, little uh, area where they can see light, they'll close it off. Some are more propolis than others, aren't they? Yeah. It's very sticky stuff. Okay, right. This is it. So let's see what's going on so inside. Notice on here, we've actually got two quite big boxes on here. This box is called a brood box. So I'll hack you on here, we've actually got two brood boxes. That's because I think last year we anticipated they would be quite a big colony. And it already. looks like they're already busy in the two, doesn't it? Although the bottom may be empty and yeah, they may all be upstairs. Yeah. Now these are really quite orangey compared to the yes. last lot we've looked yeah, at, which were quite black. black. Yeah. yeah, look how orange some of them are. This is a bit of spare comb that they've just created, as we see. But So one of the first things we look at is to see 
how densely populated they are and we're seeing that they really are across pretty much all of the frames there so that's really good news and they're nice and calm aren't they very calm very the calm. nice weather helps with them being calm but also their general temperament as a colony indicate you know can they can be a little bit aggressive they can be calm so we're looking this year to breed from our lovely calm bees aren't we of course it can be also how calm the beekeeper is as well yeah which is an essential part of it the beekeepers tend to uh, if you're rough with them they um, won't like it they don't like it they get upset with you and they will show you okay so so first thing we'll do is notice they've all gone they've all gone away because of the smoke a little bit so we'll pop out a frame initially one that looks empty-ish so that we can give ourselves some room to maneuver and the outside frames are usually the empty ones aren't they well they're either empty or they're full of stores um, and if they're if they're full of stores it means that they've still got plenty if they are empty like that one and that one is completely this empty. one fanning oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's a bee there, which is basically passing. See, it's got its its tail right up in the air as well. That's called its Nasanoff gland. Um, so it's just popping its pheromones out into the air, just telling everyone this is where we are. This is home. In case of disruption, so like if this yeah. was um, a bear attacking their hive and suddenly they were all dispersed, they'd do go into that in overdrive, wouldn't they? Yeah. To tell that's the right. rest of the family. Yeah where they were quite, quite mainly sometimes where the queen when is. we manipulate you can see lots of bees at the front um, with, their, with their, their thumbs in the air basically doing uh, with a nasanoff gland uh, just putting the uh, message out there this is home so this is where the queen is you can all come and see us so nothing at all in there that's a nice it's an empty frame it probably could do with changing it's getting a bit dark isn't it yeah we're seeing we've got holes. some holes and things in there so eric is over there keeping notes for us in the shade <laughs> best place to be okay so pretty much the same message here completely empty yeah I'll just shake the bees off so the two things we're thinking now are one there's still plenty of space so they're not getting too full and hopefully reaching swarm preparations which can happen in April uh, but also two have they got enough food because as you said before the stores the honey is usually stored on the outer frames and round the eggs but here we go look here we go so there's a nice bit of store yeah, there so we've got some stores in there if we have a little scrape that. oh that's crystallized as well it's a little bit crystallized yeah it's, you can see the fact it's white is not clear so therefore that's actually crystallized honey uh here in the apiary we especially behind us Kath over there you can see all the ivy lots and lots of ivy which has been left there purposely um and the bees will feed off that uh in october november time when it comes into a little flower, uh, and they love the nectar that comes from that, but unfortunately, it does crystallise very, very fast. So that almost definitely will be nectar from from the, the ivy. ivy. And look, just look there where I've just scored that, so we can see they're it straight on it. Immediately, they look. look there. Yum, yum, yum! Suck it up. Yeah. So it could be they are hungry. Yeah, there's a lot of forage coming out now, isn't there? Yeah. So this is a carpet of celandines in this garden for a start. I've noticed the rape has come out. We've got all the pollen, even this lovely pussy willow tree pussy here. Willow, yeah. um, all the pollen's coming out on that. I'll quickly show you the pollen because that looks amazing. I was just looking at that now. If you see on here, these lovely little fluffy things. You see the pollen here? It's all coming out. So that's all food right at their doorstep, which is amazing here because it's Woodland Trust site. They've got trees planted all around and they're becoming more mature now because the Woodland Trust have owned it for a couple of years. So, so let me take you back to the bees. So yeah. Come on. The exciting thing we're looking for is, are there eggs? Ooh. Is there a queen? Oh my goodness, there's a queen cell. Right, let's go for a close-up in here. So describe this to us. So, this, I think we're okay. I don't think it's this dry. is a proper queen cell. But here, can you see, everybody? Uh, here, we've actually got, see a little bit on the end, that's what we would normally call a queen cup. Um, that bit. This piece looks to me 
Just a bit of protruding it's just cone, a bit isn't of protruding it? Cone. And the Queen Cup becomes an issue if it's what we call charged, in other words, if it's actually got an egg inside it. Alright, fortunately it hasn't. There's not really enough bees in here for them to want to consider swarming at the moment, but if they were going to swarm in a few weeks' time, basically they will uh, lay an egg in there, or well, they won't, the queen will, um, and the the worker bees will have pre-selected um, where they put these cells, uh, and, the work, and so the queen will actually lay an egg, and then the uh, the worker bees will then feed it lots and lots and lots and lots of royal jelly. The other important thing on this frame... Gorgeous pollen, look at yeah, the colours in there. different colours of pollen in it's there. It's just amazing. Uh, that's very, very typical, all right? In the middle of this frame, you've got all this pollen, and you've got some stores here as well. Uh, that neck, that, sorry, that pollen that was there. Yeah. That says to me, almost without doubt, and here it is. The next frame. The next frame. Stuck it to the. Ooh, to the. That's the, the trouble underneath. with double boxes. Too. Yeah. Right. There we go. Wow, we've got some lovely brood here. All right. So that's that's young, basically. That's. This biscuity that. coloured stuff yeah. is the larvae are under those. Yeah. That's, been, seals. that's wax capped off on the top. Um, we'll hopefully find. A little bit of young larvae down here. I don't know if you can see no, in. I can, I can hardly see that at the moment. The, the light's not quite right. Hopefully we can watch this later. My might, might yeah, have a better idea. Good, <laughs> yeah. You can see an open one there. Can I show yeah. over there? Here. There's a oh, white yeah. larvae in there. Yeah. So that's before it's sealed. Yeah. The egg is laid, then the larvae grow, and then they seal them. Yeah. All right. We're getting deeper and deeper into the nest here, so there's a, obviously quite a bit more. Look, a lovely yeah. bit of pollen this one's got on its legs. Nice yellow pollen. Yeah. I'd like to walk around on you every now and again. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, Any sign of eggs in there? No. Again, tiny, tiny little. Oh, yeah, there's eggs yeah. in the bottom of there. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, there's tiny little white lines, about like two millimeters in length. They're the actual eggs. Notoriously difficult to see, particularly yeah. if you've got problems with your eyesight. But that's <laughs> what you're looking for, because if there's eggs in there, it means the queen is likely in there because she would have laid in the last three days. And there's that one sat there on its... Having a little oh, gorge, yeah. but got all that pollen ready to deposit. She's going to find the right place to put it, but she's having an eat meanwhile. She's hungry. She's been working hard. But anyway, I'm really happy with that box. That's a, that's a really nice really really nice example of what they should look like so we'll yeah, put the lid back on this, this particular box anyway so just shake the bees back in the excess bees that were on the crown board clean off any bits of comb which we keep all those lovely, lovely bits of wax to recycle And then just slide that back on so we don't squash any bees. Okay, so roof back on. Roof back on. Are we done? So we're going to sign off now to go through the rest of the bees, but I really hope you enjoyed seeing inside the hive. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Eric. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and we'll see you again. Have a great weekend and enjoy the sun. Bye.